All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Father of the Bride, 1950. <clears throat> I'm giving this one three out of five stars. I thought it was one of the better uh, oldie movies that I've been watching in my Netflix queue. <clears throat> Which isn't saying much, but... Uh, <clears throat> It's in black and white. I didn't see that. the print is in pretty good shape compared to the sequel. Um, it's got a bunch of actors who are also in this sequel. Spencer Tracy plays the uh, father. Elizabeth Taylor plays the daughter. And then you've got Joan Bennett as the mother. And... Uh, It's a comedy. I did. I thought Joan Bed it was funny, especially when they were uh, canvassing the neighborhood for the, their uh, prospective son-in-law's parents' house. <laughs> and Spencer Tracy says it's probably a shack while they're while they're driving there. And Joan Bennett says, "There's your shack." <laughs> I love the way she says that only Joan Bennett could say it like the funny way she she talks I love I love Joan Bennett she was great in Dark Shadows of course Suspiria uh, The Woman in the Window to name a few and uh, Elizabeth Taylor is getting married which is kind of ironic because she was married eight times including but uh, limited to uh What's his name? <laughs> she was married to, uh, I can't think of his name now. Um, uh, Richard Burton, duh. The great actor uh, was in The Klansman in 1984. To name a couple. <laughs> well, I forgot to put Russ Tamblin's name in the description box. He's also in uh, Father of the Bride. Uh, so Richard Burton was drinking heavily in, in, in the Klansman because he was separated from uh, Elizabeth Taylor. Supposedly, he wouldn't take responsibility for it, for his own behavior. Like I did when I was going through my second divorce, and the doctor told me I was killing my kidneys with uh, hard, hard uh, Mike's hard lemonade, cherry flavor. <laughs> I, I was doing my drunk uh, movie reviews on the weekend because I had nothing better to do when I was living in Daly City. This was uh, probably. Around the time that Adrian started watching my channel. Anyways, I digress. Uh, it's been a rough week for me. Again, the eternal nightmare continues with my car saga. They, uh, they found some internal damage and they jacked up my estimate another $1,600. I had to sell a handful of stocks again for a capital gain. Might be short-term capital gain, which is a bummer. I won't be getting to uh, write off as many as many taxes as I had, had anticipated next year, and uh, I don't know how long the car rental. I have to extend my car rental because uh, I asked them. When is my car going to be ready? And the response is, I'm waiting for, to get an, an ETA from the car dealer on the, on the uh, additional parts for, for the uh, internal damage. So um, am I, I'm, I might have to end up paying hundreds of dollars extra for, for this car rental, which is another bummer. It's like a double whammy. Uh, 
So life sucks. And in addition, the uh, my son's school removed the uh, mask requirement starting t tomorrow. But the uh, his mother is telling him to continue wearing a mask at school. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even bother trying to uh, challenge her when I pick up my son later this morning. It's not a big deal, but. Still, you know, they give him a little bit of freedom, and she, she's saying it's too much freedom. I don't understand, especially consider the the, the CDC re, uh, rescinded their mask requirement about a month ago. But uh, there are just some people who want to wear masks or, or force their kids to wear masks until the end of time, even when the CDC and, and the school says it's not necessary. <laughs> so there's that uh, what can I say about Father of the Bride like I said it's a comedy some of the jokes fall flat but I got I got some chuckles out of it not so much from uh, Spencer Tracy or Elizabeth Taylor but uh, more from Joan Bennett uh, Spencer Tracy is uh Well, the beginning of the movie is is uh, <clears throat> shows Spencer Tracy at the end of the movie talking about how his uh, how his house got trashed during the wedding reception. <laughs> it was like a stampede, man. <laughs> I only had three people attend. <laughs> oh, naked X Y Z girls is here again. <laughs> I just reported those two chats in my chat room again. Okay. So where was I? Just waiting for them to re remove the last chat from Naked HD XYZ Girls here. Streamer recommends. <laughs> Anyways. Um, like I said, it starts out at the end. Spencer Tracy's talking about marriage. He does the same thing in the sequel. I started watching Father's Little Dividend. Here somewhere. There it is. Father's little dividend. Got my little thumbnail. <laughs> the, st the silly thumbnail. And I also got flying deuces, Laurel and Hardy. Nineteen thirty-nine. Father's Little Dividend is one year later, 1951. And um, so Elizabeth Taylor wants to get married, which is kind of ironic. She had eight husbands. I don't know if she divorced eight times, but uh, I know she was married to Richard Burton twice, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier. And... Uh, that breaks my record. I was only married twice. I didn't have a big wedding either time. <laughs> Very small. As a matter of fact, my first wedding was in the a parking lot at the uh, Nevada Casino. <laughs> that was pretty wild. We just sat in the car while, while the official uh, ceremony went. <laughs> the official one, not the... Uh, Not the, uh, what do you call it, the actual ceremony, but the, uh, 
it was weird. <laughs> Let me just put it to you that way. My mom paid for it, which was nice of her. Uh, she had, she actually had money back then. This was before she wasted all of her, all of the money that she got from selling her house in Redwood City during the housing boom, <laughs> the Clinton era, or uh, the internet bubble and the housing boom. Oh, Naked HD is back. Anyways, I keep reporting it to YouTube, but it doesn't do any good. Um, so Spencer Tracy is kind of bummed that he has to pay for the wedding. <laughs> and she wants a big church wedding. Uh, so he, he's going to the uh, caterer and uh, the uh, church rehearsal. Well, first he goes to the, uh, the son-in-law's parents' house, and he gets drunk and falls asleep on the couch. <laughs> and then uh, he, he likes martinis for some reason. <laughs> Everybody gets drunk in this movie. <laughs> Except for Joan Bennett and uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor and her husband. Her fiance, I should say. <laughs> Uh, her her soon to be husband. <laughs> she gets married quicker than uh, Britney Spears. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Britney Spears in Las Vegas. <laughs> Anyways, um, he's. Uh, He's talking to all these people and uh, he's racking up all these bills. Um, Joan Bennett wants wants a uh, big wedding because she never got one from him. So she wants to uh, impart, spoil Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> and um, that's about it. That's pretty much the movie. Um, I gotta go. I gotta eat gas and uh, go to Safeway. Um, I I couldn't find one item. The Just for Men sh shampoo and conditioner, and I forgot to get uh, pico de gallo. Salsa. So, um, pick up those two items. And, uh, got a vacuum and uh, sweep the garage. And somebody left the door open all night. There's just these uh, boxes of stuff at the doorstep. I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I was worried somebody's going to just waltz in here like that motorcycle scammer guy <laughs> anyways um, I'll try to get through father's little dividend and uh, flying deuces and uh, also uh, slaughter that's a nice little Jim Brown uh, black exploitation movie we like Jim Brown uh, what other black exploitation movie uh, was Jim Brown in? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. I always forget the movies that I review, but I have to look them up on uh, on my channel. Do a search by uh, actor name. So uh, let's see if I can do that now. Click on your channel. And then my uh, Audra Handel movie doesn't come up. Father of the Bride live stream <laughs> comes up. Okay, and then uh, Jim Brown. Oh, he was in Black Gun the same year, 1972. What a great uh, movie. 
movie that was. Uh, Adios Amigo, another great black exploitation film. Um, black Trash? No, that's not one of them. So, uh, Black Gun and Adios Amigo. We're big fans of Jim Brown on this uh on this channel so uh that's the end of my review i better get going i'm kind of uh over 15 minutes on this one laters <laughs>